Ben. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this Monday, the 18th of December. We're looking at the Dow of 23 at 37,329. In other words, it went higher than Friday. This is still an extension of legs, and I'm anticipating there's some kind of a pullback over the next two days, just a kind of a breather initially, just to see what can happen um, where the, if the buying keeps coming in. At this point, I've got the Chapman Wave, uh, the uh, short-term trading index, uh, it was high on Friday, and that's it. The S&P futures can rally some, which is doing the S&P right now. In fact, is up 16. Uh, may, no, it hasn't quite made a new old, a new recovery high from last Thursday, but it is up at 47.35. Uh, very nice action. The QQQ index 100 trading up 47 cents at 405.79. Also hasn't taken out Friday's high. You're looking at the IWM. The, uh, that's um, the IWM Russell 2000. <clears throat> it's important to see how it holds that huge gap from Wednesday. Is it Friday, Monday? Yeah, Wednesday's gap. Is up at 198.37, up a dollar 30. Are we starting to see the rotation that we said was a possibility in this uh, coming into the first quarter of 2024? Mm, so far, it's acting really well. Looking at gold, uh, gold right now is uh, up to at uh, 237. Silver is uh, let's see where silver is. Silver is down 34. Uh, cents and the dollar is uh, last looked at it was down a little bit yep down 16 cents at 102.44 and we got crude oil doing very nicely today uh, we were doing talking about this um, 200 period exponential moving average in the weekly it hit it exactly look every other time it's hit it it's bounced right off it so this is a very nice move up 276 at 74.53 let's go to the bonds uh, right now the bonds are trading down Almost uh, 20, 30 seconds at 123 and 5, 30 seconds. Um, yeah, we're going to be watching this very closely because if the TLT starts to pull back, which it's doing right now, down 98 cents, at this particular point, that's going to push the yields. And if the yields go, does that impact the HGX in the shorter term? That's the Philadelphia, Philadelphia housing sector. Ha, we'll talk about that when I get back from my show, The Tiger to Fishers Hour. Wednesday, I do my webinar for subscribers. Check it out on the front page of TFNN.